Someone recently alerted me to a press release from a company that says they found a new method of converting sunlight into electricity that's much more efficient than the currently existing solar cells. I've had a look. Before we talk about the new miracle tech, a quick thank you to all my supporters on Patreon, especially those of you in tier 4 and higher. This channel would not be possible without your help. And you too can help us. Go check out our Patreon or join us right here on YouTube. Right, so the new product comes from a company called Vavya and they call it a photon energy system. Their website has little information, but they've put out a promotional video, which you see here. My first reaction is that those are plastic spheres with some reflective material inside. Totally tangential, but the shape is a hexakis icosahedron. There seem to be holes atop the spheres, maybe also a lens. Three things come to my mind immediately. First, if you want to collect some light you don't want to use reflective material because you know that reflects light. What they're doing by using this is effectively reducing the surface area where they collect light to this hole in the middle. Going by the size of the hole that's at least a factor 30 or so smaller than what you'd get with a planar surface. Second for the same reason you don't want to use spheres because there'll be gaps between them and the light goes unused there. Third, even if there is a good reason to use spheres, you'd pack them in a hexagonal lattice to minimize gaps between them and not a square lattice as you can see in the video though they might just have done that for demonstration purposes. Though this image has the same arrangement. Yeah, not sure what's going on there. They then say that the efficiency is 200 times higher than that of traditional solar panels. PES is nearly 30 times smaller and generates 7.5 times the output. And it is over 200 times more efficient. For context, commercial photovoltaics currently have an efficiency in the range of 15 to 20 percent or so. That number gives you the fraction of sunlight that they convert into electric power. While some materials have reached an efficiency exceeding 40 percent, these are not widely used because they tend to be both brittle and expensive. Concentrated solar power is when you focus sunlight with mirrors and generate electricity from the heat. These can reach efficiencies up to 25 or so. If the new system has a 200 times higher efficiency than the existing photovoltaics, that'd be about 3000%. That means it outputs more energy than it takes in, which is not even theoretically possible. Big if true. But maybe I'm misunderstanding something. We then move on to some sort of demonstration in which they show that the system generates energy from LED flashlights. It is important to note that the power meter will read 50% at the beginning of the demonstration due to the ambient lighting in the room. The power meter... That is not a power meter, that's a multimeter and it's obviously measuring voltage. I'm not sure who this this person is who's narrating. She seems to be a little confused. The executive director and co-founder. All right, well, who's the CEO then? San Cheng? The same San Cheng who was arrested in China for buying toy guns and spent three years in prison. Quite a career. Okay, so look at this. The lower parts of the spheres are no longer illuminated. They previously were. Looks like there's something inside of them now. Maybe solar cells? How's the thing supposed to work? On Twitter, they write PES doesn't just generate electricity. It captures sunlight using multiple layers of materials and special spheres and then converts it into electricity using a silicon conductor module. A silicon conductor module? I've never heard that. Let's look this up. Ah, so the only occurrences of the word come from the company's press release. But well, maybe one of their PR people messed something up. There is something called a silicon carbide module, that's a sort of power converter, which is indeed used in photovoltaics, so maybe that's what they meant. Actually, look, I found a patent application for the thing. This clarifies that it's indeed a hollow sphere with an opening and a lens in the opening whose purpose it is to collect sunlight. It also confirms that it's supposed to use silicon carbide. 
totally tangential, but note that this is a different polyhedron than the one in the demonstration video. However, none of that explains how throwing away most of the incident light would improve efficiency. So look, I'm not saying that this is a scam. For legal reasons, I'd never even hint at the possibility that a product might be a scam. Indeed, I want to make it really clear that I've definitely not said it's a scam. But what do you think? Is it a scam? Let me know in the comments. Two years ago, I started getting spam calls and it soon became apparent that my mobile phone number had appeared online. I've changed my number, but ever since I've been very suspicious about where my private information goes. I've then signed up for Incogni, which helps me avoid trouble like this and it'll help you too. You see, each time you open a website, it'll try to collect data about who you are and where you are and what other websites you've visited. If you then sign up for a website and fill in your personal details, they can and often do make money by selling your private information to data brokers. Most countries have laws against that and you can ask for your data to be removed, but doing this takes up a lot of time. Incogni automates the process of getting you out of those data basis. You sign up and they'll contact the big sinners, request that your personal details be removed. They'll keep on doing that and if you want, send you updates about the progress they're making. I'm glad there's now a simple solution to stop unfriendly people doing nasty things with my personal details. Incogni is super easy to use. You sign up, give them the information they should look for and they go to work, like within a minute basically. I now sleep better at night and maybe I can help you sleep better too. The first 100 people who use our code Zabina or the custom link in the info below will get 60% off of Incogni. That's an amazing deal, so go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.